Hi everyone and a welcome to my channel. So today I have for you a Dollar Tree haul. I stopped in and I found a few items to share with each of you. So we'll hop right in. I'm going to show you everything that I purchased. So for starters, I found these Rubbermaid take-alongs. They are um, in like a fall color, if you will, in this kind of copperish tone. Really nice. Um, they are 2.5 cups these are great for um leftovers so if you're having thanksgiving at your house maybe you want to pick up a few of these so people can take some leftovers without taking your good tupperware so and rubbermaid is a name brand product so i picked those up next i picked up these um marie calendar blueberry muffins these are good for blueberry muffins but i also really enjoy these for pancakes you can take one of these package um two-thirds milk and one egg stir it up and have yourself some quick little pancakes this will make about seven fairly good size pancakes so i enjoy that next i got some uh, banana chips i like these um, on my desk snack on these while I'm doing my work so I picked those up and I think this is a, a newer um, brand that I had not seen previously so I got that next I found some 3m products um, I got this um, carton sealing tape and so just um, packaging tape for sending off packages pick that up they had the bubble mailers two pack this is um a six by nine inch so get two of these and then this one is eight and a half by 11 and you get two of these right yeah two so picked those up name brand not bad got those Next, I picked up some um, potato soup. It's creamy potato hearty soup. So I wanted to give those a try. I've, they've had several different um, styles of potato soup lately. So I got that. I got this super cute um, a little novelty pen. I like these for my desk at work, for writing in my happy planner. Um, I have gotten quite a collection of them and I just pick out one that matches my my layout for the week and um, then it's just something fun to write with got that next um, I picked up these it's a tiny tree skirt it's um, 18 inches I've seen a couple of um, the ladies on YouTube do some DIYs with these so I thought I would pick up some and uh, so I picked up two of these I picked up these a super cute little truck, the red truck. Um, I thought these were super cute. So I picked up a couple of those. Next, I picked up these page markers, sloth page markers. These are so stinking cute. I just love them. So I picked up those. And here's another repeat purchase. These peanut butter filled pretzel and nuggets these are really good another little good snack for work picked up some craft clamps good for our crafty stash picked up a roto cutter i have not given this a try i have a fisker one that i use all the time but i thought maybe i would give this one a try as well so i picked that up here's another novelty pen I like these. I have a I have a gold one, I believe, and a silver one. But this one is, um, you know, blue, faded into a pink and purple. So I picked that up. Next is a favorite snack of mine, which is these Reese's Outrageous. It's got caramel. It has Reese's pieces in it. It is so delicious. Um, these are awesome. A new find is uh, this a little farm to table, um, a little farmhouse decor, if you will. And I think it is cute. And um, so 
picked that up. Uh, next are some balloon sticks. I don't recall seeing these before. So I picked up a two pack of these just to have um, in the um, balloon stash. It has the um, holders. I don't know what you call them, but anyway, I got two of these. So let me put those up and save them. Some um, wall decals, but I like to use these for my planner. I got two of the Super Mario And I got SpongeBob. Love it. I love these. These are great for doing layouts in the planner. And um, I always buy them. Next, I got a creepy a seat cover. Um, we had a party before my daughter left to head back out of town, back to her home. Um, and she wanted to put this on the toilet to scare the kids, but we forgot about it. And uh, so, um, I'm going to put it on there. I think it's funny. So got that. Another repeat purchase are these, um, paint brushes. Guys, these are just really good. I use them. You can use them for staining. You can do, use them for latex paint, um, chalk paint, whatever it is. Use it. Throw it. You don't have to feel guilty. You're paying 50 cents. I, I, I buy them every time I see them. I got a whole bucket full of them. In fact, my youngest daughter's like, Mom, why do you have so many paint brushes? I'm like, because I buy them every time I see them. And uh, we just use them and toss them. I picked up another pumpkin. I actually picked up two of these. I need a few more pumpkins um, for my fall Halloween decor. So I picked up two of these. I also saw um, My Fairy Treasure. She turned these into large um, Christmas balls. So like shabby chic Christmas balls. So if you're not um, part of her channel, you should go check her out. Her um, channel is My Fairy Treasure. And she does a lot of um, crafts. She does painting, mixed media. She makes the greatest uh, Dollar Tree hauls. Um, super talented. So you can go check her out. And then last but not least is kind of a comparison and a project share. So um, I love the Dollar Tree. And if I'm there, I will buy whatever it is that I need. But... Um, I just wanted to do a little comparison for y'all. Um, normally, we can get these trash bags seven um, for a buck, which would be 14 cents each. Um, so, but I was at all these and I needed trash bags, and that's when I remembered I needed trash bags. So, I bought the 80 count at Aldi's. So, this was 80 bags for $4.69 which makes the bags each six cents. So, um, you know, in the grand scheme of things, maybe it's not that big of a deal, but just something to think about. Dollar Tree is convenient, but you know, their items may not always be the best buy there is, but it is definitely more convenient to go into the Dollar Tree than it is to go somewhere like Walmart per se. So, um, a lot of times I would just pay the dollar and have seven bags. But anyway, something to think about. Um, another buy that I had, these these were really good. I already opened them, I already ate them. I was super hungry, but I love Swedish fish, but I hadn't tried the crushed flavor and they, they were pretty good. And then uh, last but not least is a project share. So, and I had showed y'all these items and I told y'all when we did them, I would come back on and show them to you. So, um what it is is a bag of candy corn and a bag of peanuts both from the dollar tree um so you get sweet and salty mix them together put them in a bowl the kids uh, my my granddaughter did it she's got the scissors cut open the bags put them in a bowl stirred them gently together and uh, this is what she made some little um, like little jars. These are plastic um, and we tied some jute on them. You can put a bow, like a little messy bow um, 
and then you have just salty and sweet little combination so a cute little idea this cost one two three dollars and plus the jute if you had to buy jute you could buy it there at the dollar tree so this could be a five dollar project um divided by two so 250 each um just a little something um to do and she enjoyed doing it and mixing it and she must be learning about mixtures and stuff because she gave me the whole science of how to determine what is the mixture and what's not and all the properties and i i got educated so um it, it was a good fun little um thing for us to do together so anyway guys i hope you're having an amazing day if you have enjoyed this video please give it a thumbs up thumbs up Hit the subscribe button. Become part of my friends here on YouTube. And y'all take care. See you in my next video, guys. Bye.